हेलो एवरीवन यू आर ऑल वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 953 एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज द सल्फर एंड नॉन सल्फर कंटेनिंग वल्कनाइजेशन वंस वी से वल्कनाइजेशन मींस व्हेन द रबर इज ट्रीटेड विद सल्फर बट it is not only limited to sulfur sometimes non sulfur vulcanization is there also so first i will be discussing the vulcanization where we are using sulfur and from very beginning you might be listening the lecture and i have already mentioned several time that vulcanization means uh, when the raw rubber uh, in the form of latex when it is uh, isolated from plant source it is useless it is not having any plasticity or elasticity or lot of plastic property strength hardness toughness so that we can use it for motor tire or motor tube so to make it useful we go through the process that is known as vulcanization means we will add the rubber so once i say the rubber addition is not that in any quantity we are adding it is a solo solo continuous process first we will be adding 3% rubber then we will go on increasing and we will go on checking its plasticity its elasticity its strength and hardness and once the percentage of sulfur is reaching above 30 then uh it is elastic it is hard and it has uh strength and then it can be useful for manufacture of tire that is the process of vulcanization and in the process of vulcanization actually there is isoprene in it and this isoprene in the c5ha and this is this is actually c5h8 and this is your isoprene unit and this isoprene is you know is having two uh, double bonds and this is called head position and this is called tail position so here uh, sometimes this double bond in between this double and single bond and there is hydrogen so this sulfur will make the bridge between this Uh, unsaturation wet in C5 H8 that is isoprene unit there <coughs> and making that bridge will improve the quality of the rubber that is called vulcanization and this process is actually a free radical chain reaction so there will be formation of long chain by the bridging of sulfur in between two isoprene unit and this is free radical chain reaction that is your sulfur vulcanization so first i will be discussing and uh, the sulfur vulcanization and after that then i will be taking the non sulfur vulcanization so as i have already told you that uh, there are two uh, type of vulcanizations one is sulfur vulcanization and other one is non sulfur vulcanization so here i am discussing the sulfur vulcanization that how uh, the sulfur is uh, bridged in between a uh, different isoprene unit that is C5H8 and what is their important role to play uh, to maintain its hardness strength elasticity and how drastically it is reducing the plasticity of the rubber in this way the quality of rubber is improved so here a uh, sulfur vulcanization number 1 as we know vulcanization is carried out by heating crude rubber in presence of sulfur the crude rubber is uh, uh, internally mixed with uh, about 3% ground uh, sulfur accelerator and activator actually accelerator activator they are usually uh, aldehyde or amino uh, derivative and they are responsible of activate and accelerate the process of vulcanization uh, that's why they are called accelerator and then heated to about 150 degree centigrade temperature 
for tiles, it is heated up to 154 degree centigrade temperature. Number two, vulcanization is a progress reaction and is only allowed to a definite stage. The time of vulcanization and temperature is uh, reduced by adding by adding some chemicals and they are known as accelerators and activators. When the amount of sulfur is increased, the crude rubber is hardened and by increasing the percentage of sulfur up to 40 to 45 percent, a non-elastic substance is formed and that is called uh, ebonite. Number three, vulcanization is a free radical chain reaction mechanism and I have already told you in the beginning that isoprene unit C5H is having uh, two double bond with five number of carbon and hydrogen. And in that, in the case of chain reaction, one of the hydrogen ion is knocked out and in that case there is active uh, integrated this form in the form of free radical and that will recombine and there will be formation of long chain bridges of in presence of sulfur. That is called free radical chain reaction. So free radical chain reaction and the free radical is formed uh, furnished by the accelerator by uh, removing the hydrogen ion from uh, isoprene unit uh, forming an active center. A rubber uh, on vulcanization undergoes great reduction in plasticity. So once rubber is vulcanized, there is great reduction in its plasticity, but of course its elasticity is intact, it is maintained. Uh, whereas the elasticity is largely maintained uh, during vulcanization. In many cases, the double bonds break and form chain uh, with sulfur, which in turn links with uh, other chains. The sulfur atom used in the uh, in bridge formation in the vulcanized process. Sulfur acts at the unsaturated bonds forming bridge and cross linkage of the linear molecule uh, to infinite three dimensional structure. So that bridge and cross linking I will show you. So here number four, uh, the exact nature of cross links and the number of sulfur atoms in the cross links are not exactly known. So even till today, once the sulfur is added, maybe three to five percent, it may go up to thirty to forty-five percent. But mostly in the case of tire and automobile, car, tube and rubbers. Uh, the addition of sulfur vulcanization goes only up to the addition of sulfur from 3 to 5 percent. But once we are making the case of a battery, it needs very tough and strong case of a rubber, a strong plastic type. In that case, the sulfur is added from 40 to 45 percent. That's why it becomes very strong. But in the case of car tires and tubes, the sulfur percentage is from 3 to 5% that's why it is very elastic and it is soft and such type of rubber where the percentage of sulfur in the process of vulcanization is from 3 to 5% is called soft rubber and once the percentage of sulfur in that vulcanization process it goes above 40 to 45% then it is called hard rubber or the term is called Ebonite. So number four is known if the disulfide bridge are spare containing only 5% sulfur, 
the network system retains mobility and hence elasticity and the rubber is called soft rubber if the there are many sulfide bridges containing 40 to 45 percent sulfur the network system becomes rigid and the rubber is hard and this hard rubber is called ebonite for example a battery case rubber may contain up to 30 percent sulfur but a uh, automobile tire rubber may only contain 3 to 5 percent sulfur vulcanization of the rubber is a chemical process applied to both natural and synthetic rubber actually natural or synthetic rubber both unless it is it has gone through this chemical process of vulcanization means uh, either sulfur or non sulfur ingredients chemicals are added the quality of sulfur will not be improved it will be useless that's why this chemical process the vulcanization is a must to improve the quality of uh, rubber synthetic rubber in order to improve the elasticity and mechanical properties of the uh, rubber vulcanization of rubber with sulfur can be given as follows if suppose these two are the isoprene units this one uh, this is one isoprene unit and this is second isoprene unit if these two uh, in presence of sulfur vulcanization is taking place then there will be a cross link of the sulfur between two carbon of the isoprene units and this cross linkage of the sulfur that is going to improve the uh, property mechanical as well as uh, elastic and toughness property of the uh, rubber So with this I will stop, thank you very much for watching the lecture.